Every day this trained journalist from a major university, a top 10 university, has the proof that we have employees at low level positions that play in and out of their shops to see who's outdoors. They might be listening through a glass, they might be listening through an old door, they might be listening in a lot of ways, but what they're not doing is really listening. What they're thinking is that they have rights to complain, they have rights to speak, they have rights to bitch on somebody's life, but let me tell you, you'll lose your life to your attitudes. The minute you did that, you cost yourself your God's blessings. The God in heaven does not bless people who bitch and moan and complain, is what any person will say. But there are people who are consumer rights advocates who have to check things every day. And sometimes the way we sell a job is by checking things before we ever talk to a president. When we have evidence that proves that what we are talking about is true, we can provide that to a president and buy ourselves a job. The fools of America don't know how to sell themselves. They stay stuck in their life. They might feel insulted by something they overhear which proves they're eavesdropping and not doing their life. They are lying to themselves about their rights. Americans in this world have rights, sometimes more rights than any other nation because we are a major power in the world. We just had the incredible blessing of being in inv invited and enabled to go meet the Queen of England. I doubt Trump got that opportunity when he was a president. Our President Biden and his behavior and his gracious etiquette and his manners got him in there. And we are so glad he did that. It's starting to put America back as a leader of professionalism, a leader of performance, and a le major player in the world of we are here to help each other to create peace, honor, and love in the world.